Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at a 2.5 Supra at Evergreen Raceway in PA. This is kind of a local track to me, I guess you would say, seeing as how I'm about four and a half, five hours away from it. So we're going to be taking a look at it today. It is on the Google Drive. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So we're going to go full send here today on Evergreen Wasteway. For today's episode, we have a couple little skid pad sections, it looks like, as well as some back roads and, of course, the main track on the inside. So we're going to be taking a look at all of this here for today. So make sure, like I said, you guys follow me on all social media, all the found description box below. I'm going the wrong way. I already know it. You're supposed to start over here by the little start guy. We don't go on there, but we're going to go to the start of this section first and then we'll go to the oval track and then we will hit up the side roads that are on this course so I'm gonna go here to the entrance little parking lot slide section here on this track So a fun little area to get used to a car, don't smack into those, a fun little area to get used to a car. But now we're going to go on to the main track and then like I said we will hit the back road. So the main track is definitely a fun track with having bank and inner ports of the course. It does look like it's snowing here right now but of course you know it, it's Ohio, PA, always snow even if it's in the summertime we you know could potentially get snow. So we're going to go full send here on the track and get the impressions of this layout set go in third gear gonna kick it in probably need to go into fours ah, we kind of hung it out in third a little bit come off the bank okay definitely need a clutch kick sooner on that kind of a little lazy transition sinister drift up there on the billboard come back in the other loop section kind of lazy on that transition as well but we managed to somewhat make a clean run and then we come and end this out on the bank with a little bit of wall tap i wouldn't be wall tapping my supra but we did here on a set of corsa let's go full set again and we're gonna see maybe fourth gear Ooh, fourth gear a little bit Oh, did I go into fifth? I did go into fifth. Rip, I went into fifth gear instead of third. Uh, if I was in the train, I would have wrecked everybody behind me. So, like I said, this is actually a very fun track, and it's basically another local track to me, like Kill Care is. So, it's very cool to see these tracks coming out here into a set of Corsa so that you can thrash local tracks rather than just, you know, created tracks. So, one more run here, and then I think we're going to go on to the other sections of this course. We'll try to get up there on the wall. There we go. That was a little bit better up on that wall. Kind of uh, just running red line up there. Don't hit these tires. Oh. Really up against that guardrail there. This is definitely a track. I'm going to have to get some of the team on here and have a little fun on this course because this course shreds. And it's definitely a fun, fun layout for sure. So we're going to go off track now. And we're going to go check out what the rest of this has to offer. And that is going this way. And we have another little start section here with the little blinking, you know, postman. Is that Stoneman? Looks like my buddy Stoneman. So we're going to go full set on this. Okay, there's an invisible wall there. Don't do that. There's an invisible wall there. Did not know that existed. Little back road section. 
which would be definitely a lot of fun with a bunch of your friends. So definitely having a lot of fun. Little Ascena Corsa drifting into the weekend here on a local track. I say local to me and a local to a lot of my friends and things that actually drift on this track. I've never had the chance to, so now we got two ways to go this way. We're gonna go up. Oh, a little bit of a wall tap, but we managed to save it. Oh, that's a nice little uh, incline change. Oh, well, that's definitely a very fun incline change. Oh, and we loop back the way we came? Okay. So if we go down, we come back the other way. Ah, so let's go the other way and do it uphill real quick. Because the arrow does show that way. So we're going to go down this way. We'll probably come back around and come down. Much different going uphill, but the Supra definitely able to handle it in third gear. A nice little down section. So either way on this track, it's definitely a lot of fun. And it's very different with the way if you go one way or the other. So I think we're going to go back to the main course and we're going to run it in first person and see how we can do on the main track in first person, in the Supra. Should we wall tap the uh, port bodies? Oh, those are a lot further out in the grass than I expected. I was gonna be a little wall tap on those port bodies would've been fun. I don't know why where the invisible wall is. Don't wanna hit it. Oh, okay, good thing that cone gave. to start here in first person and we have our neck effects working all the boost throw kick it in probably could have been way higher up on the bank very shallow and tight on that trying to get my bearings set on where the car is actually set here in the cockpit view of course much different than third person this is for all the haters out there that uh, talk about third person drifting oh we were up on that wall I can tell you that all right we're just gonna go for it now we're up in there much higher of a run Probably take a look at the replay camera of this run if we can, if there's some nice camera angles. We will check, the, oh, that one was shallow. So much better on the first half of this course than the latter half. A little bit of bumps there. Right, probably on the wall. Tire barrier. Oh, we almost nailed it. Well, that's a wall tap. So let's go see if there's some good replay cameras. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at that run. All right, so we do have a pretty decent replay camera, and we were pretty much deep in that wall on that run when we were running that in first person. So the replay cameras are pretty cool on this track. It's great to have a track that's got some good replay angles because some tracks don't have them. As I say that, we go to a blind spot. Pretty much for that section of track, and then it cuts back. So, Evergreen Raceway, not to be confused with Evergreen Speedway. Definitely a fun course. Like I said, it is a local track to me. So it's definitely a very, you know, awesome thing to have here in the game. How close were we? Oh, we did do a little wall tap. Something really awesome to have in the game to be able to shred on some local tracks as well as, of course, like the playground and all the, you know, 
created tracks that, that people create in their minds. Having some actual tracks for practice and stuff are very great as well. Fourth gear. Gonna hang this wall out if we can. Ooh, we gripped up. So that's gonna do it here for this episode here on a set of course. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all that you found in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Oh, we got it that time, tires! I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs>